this Friday. After 135 launches over 30 years, the space shuttle will never streak into the sky again. Through heavy clouds, Atlantis rocketed into orbit this morning. This is Atlantis's 33rd mission. It's been in service for 26 years. The skeleton crew is delivering a year's worth of supplies to the space station, but most people are focused on the historical significance, the retiring of mankind's most advanced machine. Primetime's Jeff Atkinson is here now, and Jeff, the space program has changed all of our lives in so many ways that we don't really realize. It has, Maureen. The program's had a huge impact on the country, and some of your neighbors have had a part in that. What have we gained, and what's next? It's our cover story tonight. What does a battery power drill have to do with this? One. Zero and lift off. The you wouldn't normally put the two together, but it was the work here with the space shuttle that led to this, something we all have in our homes. It, it may seem rather simple or silly and oh, it was an eventual uh, happening, but they've had to develop a lot of battery power tools for use in NASA. That technology went directly into the tools that we use today that are battery powered. That is one of the engines mm -hmm. of the shuttle. And he should know. Dr. NASA Jim Conrad, professor and associate chair in UNC Charlotte's Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. For about a three-year stint in the early 80s, worked for IBM when it was doing work for NASA in the space shuttle program. He went back to Houston again in 2008 and 2009. There have been a lot of technologies that have been discovered, uh, refined, whatever, in space because of the zero gravity. There's a lot of things that you can't do here on Earth that we learned you can do and do a lot better up in space. Some of the heat shielding technology, he showed us one of the heat resistant tiles that lie in the belly of the shuttle, the ones that became famous after the Columbia disaster, Dr. Conrad told us, used in the shuttle is also used by NASCAR. In space, on re-entry, you need protection against the heat. Same goes for automobiles. Space exploration has brought us medical imaging devices, TV satellite dishes, and GPS. It's also inspired a generation of young people to study sciences and engineering. For Jim Conrad, here he is in the NASA Lunar Electric Rover at the Johnson Space Center in Houston. His work on the computer systems used for developing space shuttle software and work in shuttle communications will always hold a special place in his heart. Yeah, let's put it this way. It's neat to work in the space program. I could claim to be a rocket scientist. <laughs> I'm sure that will make it there. <laughs> when it was conceived four decades ago, the selling point of the shuttle is that there would be weekly launches into space and that it would be relatively inexpensive and safe. It was none of those. What will its legacy, 30 years, be? That's a lot of years for a single class of vehicle to be in place. Uh, the unfortunate thing, of course, is that there's no replacement. <laughs> That's really on the books right now. Private companies will take over the business of getting cargo and crew to the International Space Station from now on. The experts say it'll probably be another three to five years before astronauts blast off again from mm. U.S. soil.